Learning more about the crash involving dozens of cars on the Leo Frigo Bridge in Green Bay. Police tell us it at least eight people were injured in that crash. NBC 26's Jennifer Naza has the very latest. A woman I spoke with involved in the chain reaction crash says she was approaching the peak of the bridge when she saw brake lights and got hit. All of a sudden, um, I just got hit on my passenger side. Morgan Schrader tells us this was a scary moment for her, and she's just thankful it wasn't worse. Police say just after 8 o'clock this morning, at least 30 cars slammed into each other on the Leo Frigo Bridge in the southbound lanes of I-43. Multiple people suffered minor injuries, including broken bones. And about an hour later, first responders began rescuing, treating, and transporting patients to local hospitals. Those who were not injured were taken to local gas stations by Green Bay Metro Transit. Schrader tells us she feared she'd be stranded on the bridge. It's like super high. Um, yeah, and it was starting to get windy up there and the bridge was shaking a little bit. Um, and I, we were up there for probably two and a half hours. Police say due to the size of the crash, it took about three and a half hours to clean up the scene. The Leo Frigo Bridge reopened around noon. They took damaged vehicles to an empty lot at Bay Beach Amusement Park for further inspection. The cause of the accident is still unknown. Law enforcement tells us although some of these cars were significantly damaged, most will be able to be repaired. Reporting in Green Bay, Jennifer Naza, NBC 26.